What's up guys, back with the good old LED cube here. Here's our our demo. So excited I just got this thing put together today and tried out the code on it and everything and it's it, it does work so I'm very excited here. Give you sort of a quick rundown of the circuit. Oh man, it's kind of a mess just so you know. Um, be prepared. Alright, we got, oh let's see, let me find Find some some sort of utensil to maybe point with. Oh, uh, what would be a good pointer? Let's see. All right. Here are your two uh, 595 chips. So these are the two shift registers. I've got them just kind of butted up against each other, and that's why there's a ton of wire coming out of them. Is that is your 16 uh, wires coming out going to our cube, as you can see. Um, let's see if I can show you. But you can see I've soldered. Uh, a wire to each pin going all back through there now when I actually get the boards this will just you know this will just kind of push through the board through like holes in the board and then solder on the bottom but as of right now um, it's just uh, in there I just soldered them on just kind of weakly um, the solder joints look kind of crappy but oh well it's all right you know what can you do it works so that's all I'm saying see there's that's those that's the like I said this is the shift registers is what is on the bottom that's the cathodes of them of the of the LEDs the anodes are over here on the other side remember when we did this we made that lattice work um, that went down I don't know if you can see that see it going at an angle it goes at an angle down through there that's the uh, that's the that that's those are the those are the um, anodes and and is what those are and so those come from the the p channels and see I got some I got some big beefy ones there's ones that uh, Chris thank you very much these were the p channels that I was gonna order um, if those of you haven't checked out that one video my uh, box opening video for uh, one of my viewers sent me uh, a bunch of cool stuff to play with um, yeah that th these are some of the toys that he sent me with some of these uh, these p channels so anyway I'm I'm putting them to use I told you if you sent me a bunch of stuff I'll I'll put it to use like almost immediately so anyway um, those are those P channels and that's what's controlling all the anodes that go down the side here and then the uh, shift registers that are right here are controlling the uh, controlling the cathodes okay and then there's all the resistors had to take a whole bunch of resistors and put those on you know for there's all my 470 ohm resistors okay there's my microcontroller right here I've got um, you know the power and ground and all that fun stuff and then here's all the uh, the controls for the P channels they run over here that's those green wires see those hook up to the P channels over there and then um, these this other wire these little these little guys that go around and hook and hit that's what controls then the uh, the shift registers and then as always we've got our voltage regulator a 7805 voltage regulator with their decoupling caps um, what this kind of craziness is, what you're looking at this is, this is the um, my ICD programmer uh, cable that I just made. Basically, you just need a six wire like phone cable. Basically, um, not a two wire. You got to have uh, the six wire ones because really, you, you really don't need the sixth one, um, but uh, you need at least five wires in it. And so, as you can see, there's my mem clear. Remember, I forgot to put that in, but there's my mem clear resistor. I don't know if you can see that back there. But there's the mem clear resistor. Um, one of those wires goes to mem clear. One goes to pin 28, which is program data, I believe. One goes to uh, pin uh, 27 uh, or 26. I can't remember. 27, I think. Yeah, 27, 28, and 27. 27 is the program clock. And then you've got VDD and VSS. You got power and ground. And that's pretty much all you need. And that runs all the way. Whee! You boom to the ICD3, and that's what I was talking about. See, it's it's basically just a phone cable. It's just a, a an uh, RJ11 uh, connector. So, and that's the ICD3. Again, like I said, I may do a review of this, kind of show you guys, walk you through some of the cool little features that I can do. I may even use this one, this software, to maybe uh, do that because this is actually a pretty good little unit that I found for in circuit uh, debugger. And it's also it's also an in circuit debugger. That's what the ICD stands for, is in circuit debugger. So it'll actually you can run debugs um, on your on your system while it's actually running which is actually really cool you can actually halt it and and put breakpoints in perform watches and everything just basically everything you can do like in Windows programming you can do in the, with 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 that but you have to have that tool to interface which is pretty slick but anyway that's basically it. enough talk enough of the technical talk you guys probably want to see it right so let's uh let's turn out some lights kind of set the mood <laughs> 
Yeah, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and grab the good old power supply and we're going to plug her in and see what happens. Whee! Look at it go around in circles. Isn't that cool? Now, what I had noticed, and if I ever build another one of these, which I might, I may go ahead and build another one of these, is the super clear LEDs that I used probably weren't the best choice because as you can, as you can see, it, it, the, they, since these LEDs came out almost just like right on top of each other, I mean, they came out just great. They actually came out a lot better than I thought they were going to. I figured they'd be off, but since they're like right on top of each other, the light shines straight up through uh, the, the other one. So it actually looks like two uh, are on at a time. So if you get back at a distance, it almost looks like the, you've got two that are on every time even though you only have one on it's just shining through the bottom of the other one so I would suggest going with some frosted uh, ones if you want to do uh, make it where it's white where it's clear you know where it looks like it's clear they're all the same color you know but you can't tell if they're blue or red or green or whatever I go with the frosted LEDs and um, for an example I think I have some I think uh, Chris uh, sent me some that he had um, uh, let me get out my big old burly mess of stuff yeah Chris sent me some you basically got a few different types of, of like LEDs that you can choose from you got the ones that actually are the color that they that they are and then there's some that are clear like these like the ones that I'm using and then there's ones that are frosted okay I'm gonna show you guys real quick um, here I may kick I may kick back on one of my lights just so I can get a little more light okay so essentially these are what you've got um, these are the clear ones that I've used you can get these clear ones any color you want um, you can get them green you can get them blue you can get them red whatever but they're clear they're a clear case and then you can get the ones that actually the case is the actual color that the LED is um, but like I said some people they don't want people knowing you know what color their LED cube is so they want to use some some type of clear one well that's when this third type is probably a better one is better suited see how it's kind of like frosted kind of it's kind of like um, it's not it's not clear you know see see the difference it's not perfectly clear it's kind of frosted well that helps with if, if yeah, you have an LED right behind this one it, it doesn't blast the light through it to where it illuminates based off of somebody else's light or leakage light from somewhere else so these might be a better bet I may I may build another cube um, because I'll have to order you know like four or five boards whenever I order boards for this thing so I may build another one but I'll use these frosted um, LEDs instead of the clear ones because they I, I think they'll work um, a whole lot better so but anyway but that shows you that's that code remember that I, show, that I told you about the sequencing one that draws circles um, if you watch the software video that's the uh, that's the code that we have and I'll shut the light out so kind of make it look cooler but that is the code so there's some of it there's something it does it does something it does work so there you go but yeah the only problem is is that that problem with it uh, shining through the others it's kind of a pain so anyway that's basically it though guys that's it in a nutshell now I leave it up to you guys how to uh, how you guys want to play with yours and if, if you guys can put this together as you can see I just used a couple breadboards just threw some parts down I don't know most of these parts I, I, I already had it have to buy them and even if I had to buy parts I'd say <clears throat> I don't know 10 bucks shipping included maybe 10 bucks or so for the other miscellaneous parts uh, I got I picked up about a hundred of these LEDs for um, around in there from that parks Ex parts Express if you check them out they got real reasonable prices on these LEDs so I think for under 20 bucks or about 20 bucks somewhere around in there 20 or maybe a little under you can build this whole thing you know so um, and then of course well and then I mean if, if you had breadboards laying around you know breadboards might be you know I think 15 15 20 dollars you know for a breadboard but if you have some breadboards spare rate laying around and you just need some parts and stuff you could probably buy it pick up all these parts for yeah around 20 bucks so um, give it a shot I would love 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 to see you to um, have uh, response videos to this if, if those of you have built some I know one person contacted me um, and said that they built um, 
uh, one of these cubes. Um, hey, if you guys build them, please take videos of them. I would love to see them. Love to see what you guys have done because there's tons of these videos on uh, on YouTube um, of people building these things and they show them off. But um, I would love to see see you guys' videos. So please, if you can make some response videos or something to this, it would be great. Um, show me what you guys make. Show me what kind of sequences you guys can come up with, kind of cool cool things you can do. And like I said, I did a 4x4 one just because it was, uh, it was pretty easy for me, um, just because it was easier to show and present. But but hey, if those of you feel you know uh, feel like you guys are gonna go for it, do an eight by eight. Or if you're real crazy and really ambitious, do a sixteen by sixteen. You know, get one of them great big huge ones, and and then do some cool sequencing stuff. When I'd love to see it, I'd love to see how what you guys can come up with. So if anybody has any has any cool sequencing ideas or video or, or built their own, by all means share because that's kind of what this community is all about. It's about sharing knowledge and sharing a. Uh, fun and cool and interesting things. So again guys, take care, keep coding, keep uh, building, and above all, have fun with it all because that's what it's all about is having fun and making neat stuff. Okay guys, I'll catch you, catch you on the next trip. See you guys later.